Drum Castle and Drumo, Cabardineshire. For centuries it was the seat of the chief of Clan Irvin, and within its historic walls it has a fine collection of art and music. But time doesn't stand still at Drum. The second floor of the castle has been specially converted, opening it up to the public for the first time as an art gallery. Drum's first exhibition features key pieces from the Aberdeen Art Gallery's modern art collection, allowing them to remain in public view while the City Gallery is closed for refurbishment. Well, it is 1619, that you're standing in 1619, and this would have been one long gallery um, at uh, when it was built. It wouldn't have been divided into rooms. And Drum as a castle very much wears its architecture on its sleeve. You can see its history and its layers. It doesn't try to hide it or conceal it. And within this space, if you look around it, if you look at the cornicing, the original lines of walls, you can see 1619 emerge um, from the Victorian division of rooms that we have today. And as we conceived the space with Aberdeen Art Gallery, we very much wanted to retain the domestic feel of um, uh, the gallery because everyone that comes to Drum always goes away saying that they could imagine themselves living here. So even though we wanted it to be a beautiful gallery to take um, the most amazing modern art, we still wanted to retain that domestic space. We've been here working with Alison on the project in the initial stages. First of all, the work which work will fit in the spaces. And then modifications to the space. Obviously, the gallery's been made into this kind of white space. Actually, a few moments ago, we were talking about the staircase that you can see at the end of the corridor with an orange glow coming up this stone staircase. And then you see this white gallery. So there's a real, real contrast. He came along to look at this space, in this, which was formerly the property manager's um, apartment. So it was quite a domestic space um, and also these beautiful historic interiors um, and this made me think of um, the, the ghosts and the sort of human imprint that people leave behind them, in, especially in, in old buildings and old places. There's quite a variety of works but in one way or another all of them um, are focused on either the human figure as, a, as its subject or um, the human spirit, so each room has its own kind of sub-theme. No, I think the audiences that are coming are probably familiar with this kind of work. Uh, I think 19th century fans will be quite comfortable enjoying this type of 20th century work. The curated selection includes Julia Douglas's Highly Sprung and Gallagate Lard by Ken Curry. Just 10 miles from Aberdeen, Drum Castle and its gallery are open to the public from Easter to the end of October and weekends all year round.